All right, finally, I have received the 7.0. It's not that interesting for me because I don't have the autopilot features, but I will review it nonetheless. Uh, what I'm gonna test now is the torque sleep. So you see, if we go to uh, this screen and then go to release notes, it will say that, well, here are the, the new features, not that much compared to the autopilot cars, but there's a uh, something about uh, improved efficiency here and it claims that you know the the torque sleep technology which I have uh, proven before improves uh, efficiency a lot on the dual motors they have been uh, applied to the rear wheel drives like my car and this one it says that when at standstill the motor will completely de-energize and what I'm dying to know is does this happen when you are driving as well and you know on the dual motor cars in order to activate it you have to um, activate range mode whereas on this car i mean okay on the dual motor it's actually they, they mentioned the, the torque sleep but in this car it doesn't mention it so that's a bit uh, weird so i'm wondering if that feature is always on for the rear wheel drive or if they just forgot to add the text here so um what I'm going to do now, like I did uh, recently, is to drive this route uh, E16 uh, to, I think, at this point, and then turn back. So it's about 21 kilometers, about 13 miles. And um, in that way, I will uh, compensate for uh, elevation and wind. And also, that route has uh, very little traffic. So um, I should be able to get consistent numbers. And actually, as um, a test, I should do two runs at the exact, exact same uh, settings just to see if I get the same numbers. Maybe I'll do that on the two first runs. And on the third run, I will switch on range mode to see what happens. So uh, the range mode, as it does before, is to reduce the power to the heater uh, but maybe it's a hidden feature just like in the rear wheel I mean in, in there for um, dual motor cars so we don't know yet we're gonna test that out see what happens if I get the same results for the all three runs that means it, maybe it doesn't help during driving maybe it only helps in standstill or maybe it's always on so in that way I can't really switch it off unless I D grade my software version to 6.2 but that's not possible so we'll see we'll see what happens look at these numbers anymore because uh, the trip A and B are not here on the 7.0 so I have to look on this screen and you see here 202 actually uh, before this weekend I did a you know, similar trip similar test I mean and uh, I was getting 204 so that's uh, pretty on par on uh, previous runs I did 100 kilometers per hour cruise control well the temperature was set at 22 only but uh, on this is 24 and yeah why well okay I will explain that later but uh, in, in short before I believe there was a bug where um, whatever you set here was not the temperature you got in the car so I noticed that if you set it to 22 you will get like 24 25 and even 26 inside the car so to compensate for that, I used 24 today to have more or less the same temperature as I did uh, on the last trip, the last test, I mean. But anyway, 202, okay, that's great. I'm gonna reset it and do another run just like that, just like the previous one. And um, this one, range mode is still off. So we'll see, we should be getting the same number. Oh, gee, where the was that trip? Around 200.
All right, second test. And of course, we can't look at this anymore. We have to look at this one. And you see 202, this exact same result as the previous run. So uh, it is uh, safe to assume that uh, we have uh, very consistent runs now. So any variations we apply now should show on the on the average here. So um, now we're gonna switch range mode on and see what happens. <laughs> See here, 200 watt hour per hour. So this is the third test with the range mode on. And then the two other tests, when the range mode was off, I had 202. And that's only 1% difference, which is within every margin. So uh, I can, um, after this, I can conclude that the range mode, oh, let me see. The range mode doesn't do anything with the consumption, except that it will do, I mean, it will have slightly lower um, fan speed. And that's that might be why we had a one percent lower, yeah. But um, most of the time I will have range mode off. So uh, because uh, I did feel that the the car was slightly colder because of this. So um, yeah, that's it for now then. <laughs>